Hey guys, this is Cozy. I'm showing you our materials that we are gonna need to make a sofa tissue box cover. So after you have your materials, let's get started. The first thing we are gonna need is tissue box and take your measuring tape because tissue boxes are different sizes. To start with, measure this rectangle on the top. Here, and there. Next, we're just gonna measure from the top to the bottom. Now let me remind you what sections you have to measure. Remember them? So we've got the pattern drawn out. The next thing we're gonna need is an over at the center. It's tissues opening, you know. Next, what you want to have is seam allowance all the way around so that we can check that bottom seam allowance is 3 cm and the others is 1 cm. Now you can cut the fabrics and cotton batting. When you trace the pattern on the main fabric and the cotton batting, you don't need to trace the tissues opening. Only lining needed. The next one that I'm gonna show you is lay the cotton batting and lay the main fabric right side up. So now stitch along the line. Next, you want to put the edges right sides together and stick some pins. Let's stitch them where I'm pointing my finger. Our next step is take and lay the lining right side up. And make sure you do the same thing with the lining. We've got two pieces here. Next, I wanna do is take the main fabric and turn it right side out. And then take the lining. Now you wanna just fit right over it. So now we are gonna match the seams. Next, what you wanna do is stick some pins all the way around. Press it flatly and you can stitch along the line. After sewing, you want to remove the pins. Our next step is fold it in half and wrap it over and then rip it up a little bit with your scissors. Now we are gonna cut a slide right in the middle of the oval. And you want to cut it all the way around the inside of oval. Making sure you don't go through your thread. Now all you want to do is go ahead and make many notches. Our next step is 
grab the lining and insert it in the tissues opening. And then poke those corners. Now you want to top stitch. I'm talking inside the main fabric 1 cm and stick some pins. Next, we are gonna tuck inside the lining 3 cm and match the seams. If you are done, you can do a leather stitch all the way around. Let me see, it's possible to put it over my tissue box. This just slides down tightly, but we don't need to worry about it because it is stretching out. From now on, we are gonna make the back of the sofa. This is sofa's back pattern, so this time you don't need to have any seam allowance because it's included it. And after stuffing the sewn sofas back, maybe, you know, it will reduce in size so that we can make it a little bigger than its own size. Next, what you want to do is lay one fabric right side up and take and place our lace upside down away a little bit from the edge and stick some pins. So now we are gonna stitch. Next, you want to take the other fabric wrong side up and line up along the edge. Stitch along the line except the opening. Have you already turned it right side out? So now you can stuff it in there. I'm closing the opening with a leather stitch. The next one that I'm gonna show you is Stitch the lines to attach the beads. It's time to thread our beads.
Now you can put the sofas back and the tissue box cover, and stick a lot of pins to fix it. Now let us stitch all the way around. Our next step is make our cushions. You can create your own style cushions because it's easy to make. I think. My this project is preferred in the FW season. If you want to make SS season style tissue box covers, click the right videos. Bye for now and happy sewing!